They are known for their intense speed and lengthy appearance. They are the fastest dog breed that ever lived, and coincidentally, one of the laziest. Today, we explore the calm, gentle, and sweet-natured Greyhound. He is a retired race dog. Can you put your butt in the shower? Go back. Oh. Okay, all right, turn this way. Good boy. Yeah, that's the boy, good boy. Get those muscles. Oh, good boy. Another one? Here, one more. Oh. Good boy. Good boy. This is Lewis, and he is eight years old. Originating in Egypt over 5,000 years ago, these hounds were designed to chase and capture the wildlife of Egypt's deserts. From their aerodynamic skull to their shock-absorbing pads of their paws, their body structure was carefully thought out to give them the ability to run up to 45 miles per hour. These dogs can weigh anywhere from 60 to 70 pounds, and they have a life expectancy of 10 to 13 years. Owners of this breed say they have an on and an off switch. They can run like lightning after the neighborhood rabbit, or they are serious couch potatoes. One of the more sensitive breeds, although great with children and other dogs, they typically have separation anxiety and don't do well being left alone for long periods of time. While you can purchase a puppy from a reputable breeder, these dogs are widely available for adoption due to their use in dog racing. Lewis is a retired race dog. This hobby is banned in more than 40 states, but it remains legal in many places around the world. Thousands of these dogs are being bred annually in the attempt to breed the fastest dog. Unfortunately, many of them are forced to live in confinement, are subject to cruel practices, and suffer major injuries and even death. As previously discussed, these are highly sensitive and social animals, and many of them are subjected to a life of abuse and solitary confinement for 95% of their days. Lewis is one of the lucky ones that ended up being adopted, but many of them don't leave the racetrack alive, or they end up in breeding programs. So before you decide to purchase a purebred greyhound, please consider offering a retired race dog a loving, safe, and warm home. I bathed Lewis today in de-shedding shampoo and Brilliant Black shampoo. Before his dry, I sprayed him down in the Stuff for Dogs to bring out the shine and help him dry quicker, and then we both put on our ear protection before the blow dry. A greyhound in a happy hoodie is the alien cuteness that I didn't know I needed. Over. Greyhounds are sight hounds, which means that they primarily hunt by sight and speed. They have a very high prey drive and often can't help themselves but to take off after a little critter. So it's important to keep your greyhound on a leash as training recall can be quite the challenge. This is my first time working on a greyhound. Obviously, considering they have such a short, smooth coat, they don't really require professional grooming. I wasn't sure which brush would work best on him, but holy heck did I ever remove a ton of undercoat using the Acqui Groomer. It's safe to say that this is the appropriate brush for his coat type. Thank <laughs> you. 
okay. No, it's okay. Good boy, Louie. Good boy, Louie. Look, he's missing a toe. Where'd your toe go? After I clipped his nails, I sprayed him down in blueberry bubblegum cologne, and Lewis is all finished. Good boy. Ooh, you like those. Good boy. Okay, let's go inside. If you liked this video, please don't forget to support the channel by hitting that subscribe or follow button. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the lovely Lewis.